Can only you. Whoa, whoa. Hey, guys. Oh, man. Wilson, you couldn't tell me these guys showed up, man. You had one job. Sit at the door, let people in, and check their names off the list. Anyways, hey, guys. Welcome back to New Stuff TV. I'm, I'm going to get up in Wilson's grill. Wait till this is over. I'm, I'm telling you right now on camera, I'm going to get him. Anyways, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. But do they jam though, Richardson? Because today we're going to be checking out these new headphones from Soundcore. These are the Space Ones, and I know you're going to love them. Look, if you haven't seen my first video on these, uh, you should probably go watch it because that's where I go over all the hardware, all the specs and everything. But the one thing I really don't talk about much at all is the sound, you know, like do they jam though? The short answer is yes. Hell yes. It's Soundcore, baby. They always jam though. But I want to tell you a little bit about the detail of the sound. And there's not much to it, man, because I mean, the, I'm going to give you the short version, okay? So as far as sound goes, I always talk about deep, rich bass, and then you got your mids and your highs. You know how I like my music. I love and appreciate my bass, all right? And these provide nice, rich bass for me. But I have to scale back my bass a little bit because I like more bounce. And that's why I like these headphones because they are very balanced. You're getting high res audio. You're getting LDAC. And you know, I've, I played around with all this stuff in the EQ. As a matter of fact, for those of you who are really in tune, get it in tune with your sound, they've got an eight band EQ for you, right? Now they do have Hear ID, and then you can customize that with some other stuff and customize that with some other stuff. But if you just want to get straight to the nitty gritty, eight bands of EQ and that you can do for yourself. And that's very important because there's a lot of people who just like to fine tune their own music. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you can pull whatever you want to out of these headphones, okay? So when it comes to the bass, we're there. You can achieve it if you believe it, all right? When it comes to the mid-tones, we're there. We can scale them back, we can pull them out if we want to. And those highs, they don't have, you know, all the hissy sibilance and everything like that. Nice, well-rounded highs, okay? They don't make your eardrums bleed. It's just nice and you, and you can get it to what you want it to be. So I really appreciate that when it comes to Soundcore as well, because they always give us an app with a lot of customization of features, particularly in the sound department. So the answer is yes, they jam though. But a lot of you came to get some answers, man. You saw the thumbnail, like I got answers, right? I was talking to Soundcore and apparently these questions are ones that they predicted you would ask. They got 15 questions, man, but I'm only going to answer about seven of them because I think these are the most seven or most important seven. But before we get into that, hey, Wilson, can you run that ad for me real quick? It's, you can do that, right? All right, run that ad for me real quick. All right, it's time to put these porch pirates and unwanted house guests on full notice. With the new EasyViz H8 Pro 3K pan and tilt Wi-Fi camera, you're gonna be able to see anything coming your way in 3K. It's loaded with AI such as 360 auto zoom tracking, vehicle and people recognition, and night vision. So there's no way you're gonna miss out on any other action around your property. It even has built-in speakers and microphones for two-way talking capabilities. The only thing you need to do now to level up your home security is to head over to Amazon via the link below, and that way you can order up one of these for every corner of your house. All right, all you box bandits out there, you've officially been put on notice because we see you. All right, man, I appreciate you taking care of that for me, but you're going to have to do a lot more than that to get into my good graces. Man, Wilson's been screwing up a lot lately, man. Y'all just don't even understand. But let's get into these seven questions and answers. All right, so the first one. How do they compare to the uh, Soundcore Space Q45s? That's a really good one, right? So here are Soundcore's answers. All right, so the Space Q45 offers a premium design using aluminum material and balanced sound, while the Space One is focused on offering lightweight and comfortable experience alongside a stylish design and high-res crisp audio. To me, that's simple, all right? So how's the sound quality different from the Space Q45? That's a good question, too. The Space Q45 offers detail-rich audio alongside a balanced sound style, while the uh, Space One offers greater bass while still maintaining cr uh, crisp mid-high frequency audio. So yeah, they're telling you that you should be getting a greater bass experience when it comes to the, uh, the Space One versus the Q45s, where the, uh, the Q45s are going to give you just more detail-rich experience with a good sound profile. All right, so, but once again, I talked about this EQ, man. Like, they give you the EQ in every app for every headphone. Man, you should be able to pull some good bass out of those Q45s. I did. 
All right, let's get on to that next question. This is the third one. Why are these cheaper than the Space Q45? That's a good question, because you never know why they're charging more or less for each headphone. Well, here's your answer right here. The Space Q45 is positioned as a premium model designed for those seeking better noise cancellation and sound performance, using aluminum materials combined with metal headband for premium quality and, a pre uh, and appearance. Meanwhile, the Space One is Soundcore's most powerful noise cancellation over-ear headphone below $100 and has been designed for a younger audience who are seeking a lightweight and comfortable headphones with the stylish design combined, uh, combined with smart features. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so they've thrown in their best noise cancellation that they can give you for under $100, and they kind of redesigned them to attract a more youthful audience, and they give you these nice youthful colorways too. So, uh, oh, and all the smart features. So that kind of tells me that they understand like, the smart features are good, but not everybody uses them, especially as you get older in age. I guess you just slap the headphones on your head and just go. Whereas the, the younger audience, they, they're really intrigued with the tech that's built into the headphones. So they threw more tech in there. Makes sense to me. All right, let's get into that fourth question. Can we add Hear ID adaptive EQ to the Space Q45 as well? Well, <laughs> got some bad news because Soundcore says the Hear ID sound will become available for Space Q45 via Firmware update in Q1 of 2023, but will not support adaptive EQ. Damn it, man. All right, so if you've got the Q45s and you want this adaptive, um, this adaptive, uh, what is it? Adaptive Hear ID, it's just not coming. Q1 is already passed anyway, <laughs> so it's just not coming. Don't be waiting around for that. All right, so how do they compare to the Life Q35s? That is a great question because a lot of people did not upgrade from the Q35 to the Space Q45, so now they're wondering, is this gonna be an upgrade? Well, kinda, and here's the answer from Soundcore. All right, the Space One features upgraded wearing detection for a better play and pause experience. Further, the Space One is available in three colors, and it features a lightweight, sleek design. So yes, they changed the design from pretty much all of them, right? The Space One also includes new features such as adaptive ANC and adjustable transparency mode. So you're getting more and more and more. So this is actually an upgrade to the Q35 because it's the new space lineup, right? So it is an upgrade from that. But the next question would come because we're now we're talking about the Q30s. So how do they compare to the Life Q30s? This is Soundcore's answer. The Space One is a fully upgraded model when compared to the Q30s and offers incredible value for under $100. The Space One also features an improved noise cancellation system offering two times stronger noise reduction tailored towards voices, as well as a wider range of smart features such as wearing detection, adaptive ANC, adjustable transparency mode, and more. So man, let me just tell you right now, if you want to compare the Space One to the Q30s, these are actually going to blow the Q30s out of the water. This is the full on upgrade. It's an upgrade to the uh, Q35s, but it's a complete blow them out of the water upgrade to the Q30s. So if you're still rocking the Q30s, maybe consider an upgrade, man, because you got it right here with the Space One. Now, this is the most important question to me, man. There's a lot of questions here, but this was the most important one. Is the Space One the flagship headphone in Soundcore's lineup? Well, you could probably tell by now. And this is Soundcore's answer to, uh, to me, and I'm relaying it to you. Don't shoot the messenger. No, okay, it is not <laughs> the flagship headphone. They say no, the Space One is one of the mid-range headphones within the Space Series. That's interesting, the Space Series versus just the regular Q. This is the Space Series, okay? All right. So targeting a younger audience who are looking for the best noise cancellation headphones that offer a strong voice and on the go noise reduction. Great sound quality and high res crisp audio at a price below $100. They priced them well. They give it a lot of features and AI and stuff like that. So it makes sense. They're targeting a younger, more youthful audience. They're giving you the AI, the features, great sound, more bass, and they wrapped it all up in a package for under $100, well, $99.99. And at launch, they always got some kind of coupon, right? So the Space Ones in my book are a great set of headphones. And if you've got, you know, the older headphones such as the Q30s and Q35, uh, definitely an upgrade to that. And I like what Soundcore is doing. And I'm also glad that they are kind of telling us what each headphone kind of represents as far as tiers, because there's there should just be a good, a better, and a best. But Soundcore produces a lot of headphones, man, so it confuses us a little bit. And I'm glad they were able to help clear some of that stuff up. Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is 
the uh, Soundcore Space Ones are all right in my book, and I think they are well worth the upgrade if you're coming from a Q30 or a Q35 or anything below a Q45. Either way, y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. Wilson, get over here, man. I need to talk to you.